Hi everybody on YouTube. So today I ran into a little problem with my uh, New Holland TC33D tractor just when I need it. And I got to show you this. And uh, <clears throat> I was putting on the rototiller and my big long legs hit the ignition switch and broke the key inside. Lucky me. So uh, I removed, it was a real cuss removing this ignition switch, which is located right here. And uh, the wires are down below here, right there. And you can see it in the camera, right there. And here it is. Here's the starter ignition switch. So I have it open up this whole board here open up the bolts and so off I went looking for the port and I found out this ignition switch is about between 120 to 200 dollars for this switch so I'm, I'm looking at this and uh, <clears throat> can't get the key out with the broken keys inside and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, well, well, maybe I can, let's see what I did with it. Oh, <laughs> I guess I lost the paper. Let's see here. All right. Anyway, let's see. I'm trying to, ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, boy, this looks like a universal ignition switch that someone had put on a while back. And of course, you use the the uh, the, for, the uh, New Holland wires yet. So I took a chance, went to Oil Parts Store, and I found this switch, the Universal switch. That's the brand right here. And I'm looking at it; and it's got all the same wire prongs that you need. See here, you got one, two, three, and four. And this one has the same. So I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to rewire it according to the labels on the old switch and the new switch. And I'm hoping that it's going to work because if it does, I saved over $150. This switch here costs you about $24, this universal ignition switch. All right, so let's see what happens. I will continue this video. So I'm going to put the wires, take the wires off the old switch, put it on the new ignition switch, and try it out. And of course, you know, this would have to happen just when I am going to do some work out on the farm with it. It's when it always needs it most. So, all right, let's stay tuned. I'm going to get this going here, and hopefully, it will start. Okay, so I removed the wires and I noticed that the, all the labels are the same on the old switch here. You got the AC, the battery, it's all labeled. The same labels are on the universal switch I bought. And I'm hoping it's going to work. So, uh, I'll get trying to install it and see how it works here. And I can't do this all one hand while I'm video, so I'm going to have to take another video. So what I got to do is now is I have to install it in here. And of course, the hole is not big enough, I don't think. Let's see, I'm just trying it here. Maybe I gotta line it up here. It's no problem, I could drill it out. But let's see here. There's a flat end here. Let's try this angle. This is just wanna see if it will go in this way first. Can you believe it? Nope. Nope. Okay, I'll get that in. Okay, so before I I go 
drill this out because the hole is smaller. I, I just hooked up the wires to the switch. And I'm just gonna see if it will start. Look at these goofy keys here, huh? So, um, let's see what happens. See if I can get this in here without dropping the camera. Sorry about the angle a minute here. And this key in. Okay. Now, let's see here. And the neutral, but at the throttle. It's not easy, not safe to do this outside, but here goes. Fingers crossed. Here we go. The universal switch works. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. There you go, everybody. You didn't have to buy a $200 switch. They already had a universal switch, in my opinion. He's working. This is great! So you're probably saying, yeah, the old switch has a glow plug. You press the button in. And you know what? When I bought this track to use, if this is a universal switch, I'm, it never had the press button glow button in it. And I never needed it. So this is it. I got it. Universal switch put in, and uh, I've been reading on YouTube other people have been having these problems with these ignition switches, and uh, uh, they've been buying a universal switch and hooking it up. I, I am happy. I am very happy. So here you are, everybody. I bought this universal switch. There's the part number. There's the name. You want it? Do a reference. That's it right here. Wind's blowing. Sorry about the wind blowing here. But this one went right into my New Holland TC33 tractor. And uh, I'm happy. This is it. Alright. So all I have to do now is I have to just... Let me shut her down. Okay. All I have to do now is just make the hole wider here and uh, I'm all set and then I have to screw it all back together again all right everybody this is what's happening and this always happens when you need a tractor something breaks thank you for stopping by here everybody I hope this helps everyone with your tractor problems and uh, stop by again don't forget Please like, share, and subscribe, everybody. Bye for now.